Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be having a look at the new Runcam 6 sent to me by Banggood for the review. Uh, I have been using Runcam 2 4Ks for quite a while. Uh, I actually have three of these uh, permanently set at different resolutions so that I can use them on all my different planes for different purposes. Even one I've got permanently set as inverted so I can put it underneath the plane. Very, very useful little cameras. Uh, and well, they're great cameras, but they do have a little few little quirks. Uh, they're very finicky about um, which SD card they used. Um, but now we've got the Runcam 6, which is very good. A little bit different. Here it is here. The main difference we'll see is that it has uh, a little screen on here, a little setup screen, which is very good because it's, it's kind of quirky setting up these Runcam 2s. Uh, you had to connect by Wi-Fi and do it on your on the Wi-Fi app. Uh, you can also do it with the Runcam 6, but it has the little setup screen as well, which will be really good. So let's go have a closer look at what else you get in the... Oh, <laughs> the cat's pushing the camera out of the way. Anyway, let's go and have a closer look at what else comes in the box. I might as well record what's happening here at the moment. My little cat is going spare about the, uh, the Rosellas out there. He's getting quite excited, aren't you? Anyway, on with the review. Okay, here's the box. This is the box opened up and we get quite uh, an extensive user manual there. Also available from the Runcam website. Lots and lots of good information in there because there's quite a lot you can do with this camera. Here it is. Nicely packaged power button and uh, shutter button. Wi-Fi selection and menu selection button, nice little setup screen, USB-C, HDMI, and we pull the little door open. We've got the battery. They are the same batteries used in the uh, other run cams. SD card slot there. It does have an inbuilt microphone, but um, uh, audio has never been one of the strong suits of these run cams. Uh, they've always just been for video and stills, really. Okay, what else do we get? USB-C data and charging cable. Uh, a little mount with a GoPro style pivot on the bottom. And here's the USB uh, power and control cable uh, that we can pop in there. We can power the camera. You can actually remove the battery and power the camera. And you can also solder this up to a flight control board, uh, control of the camera using a flight control board and your transmitter. So let's turn him on and see what we see on the little screen. So we're in video mode, battery level, micro SD card is available. There's the resolution 4K 30 frames per second. Long press the Wi-Fi button to change to photo mode. Long press again to change to setup mode, long press again to get back to video mode. Short press puts it into Wi-Fi mode and that generates a, a Wi-Fi network and then you can join that on your smartphone and uh, operate the camera via the app. We'll show you that in a minute, but let's get, go through some of the setup things first. Short press of the shutter button to start recording. Now let's go through and show you some of the setup on the screen. Can we see that? Yeah, so we've got resolution. If we push the Wi-Fi button, we move across to uh, change the parameter so we can go from 4K, 2.7Ks, 1440, 1080p and back to 4K. And you just sort of scroll through. You can't go backwards and forwards. Frames per second, 30, and looks like we've only got 30 there. Stabilization, we can turn that on and off. Pre-record, this is an interesting feature. Uh, if you turn that on, the camera is kind of recording all the time and uh, it will, when you push the record button, it will keep the previous 15 seconds. Um, so if you've missed the start of some action, but you have the pre-record on, you'll actually regain those first 15 seconds, which is a pretty cool little feature for fast action where you're waiting for it to happen. Auto power on, loop recording, format the card, card information, language, reset, and the firmware version. Okay, let's go and have a quick look at the website and uh, the manual as well. 
looking, having a look at the Banggood website, uh, current price is $105.99. Looking at the specs, uh, the sensor is a Sony IMX377, slightly different to the Runcan Thumb Pro, which is a 577. Video is saved while the uh, power off suddenly. Uh, and over at the Runcam website, they're saying we, it's a comprehensive upgrade with detachable front cover. Uh, you can put ND filters on there if you want to, to slow down the shutter speed and stop uh, overexposure, uh, get rid of jelly video. Video out and HDMI out, uh, and you can use this as an FPV camera and record at the same time. Pre-record feature we were talking about, which is pretty cool. I'll have to have a play with that. Serial and PWM control via your flight control board. Same dimensions as the previous Runcam 2. Recommended card is a Samsung 128GB U3, can do up to 512GB. Power input 5 to 20 volts, oh that's cool, so it doesn't have to be just 5 volts, you can power it from 5 to 20 volts. 49 grams with battery, 35 without the battery. And here's the manual here, we'll have a quick look at that as well. Bit of information about the lighting, red record, green charging, blue is in Wi-Fi mode or firmware update, and orange is the menu setting does have audio feedback for on and off, which is very good. Uh, I like that out in the field when you can't necessarily see the screen. You can hear the beeps, three beeps when you're turning it on and five beeps when you're turning it off. One beep for starting video and two beeps for finishing video. And when you get low power, the orange light starts flashing and you get three and the buzzer beeps each three seconds until it powers off. Wi-Fi network is Runcam 6 with some letters and the password is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine zero computer connection USB C. Uh, they're saying they're saying if it doesn't connect, then you may need to change the USB C cable. I did try with one of my cables, and it did connect, but I couldn't open any of the files directly from the card. So I have to try the supplied USB C cable. Always the way. It does generate a gyro flow file, so we can stabilize it later on in gyro flow and the control cable that was supplied we have power 5 to 18 volts they're saying here ground video pwm control and the tx and rx for your uh, uart connection got instructions here about how to set up uart control and pwm control all right i'll show you the runcam app now we'll put it into wi-fi mode single press of the wi-fi button we get the blue flashing light Join the generated Wi-Fi network. Now we can connect the camera. And bingo, there we go. So that's uh, now showing a live view. Hello there. And let's see what we can do. We can change to photo mode. Take a photo. Uh, and we can change to time-lapse video as well. We've got one second and infinity recording. And we have Accept it, and we can adjust exposure, sensitivity, shutter speed, saturation, contrast, and sharpness up there. And we have some more general settings here. We can date stamp, image stabilization on or off. I will play with that in the field. Auto shutdown, pre record, turn on automatically when power is connected, feedback beeps, uh, volume, auto record, loop recording, power supply frequency. Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi password, uh, card capacity, format the card, restore factory settings, and the firmware version. And we can review images here. There's the photo that I just took. And we can view the image on full screen as well, like that. All right, time to put it on the plane, take it out for a fly. So I've got the Runcam 6 mounted up on the Phoenix. It's a lovely slope drawing day, so let's see how it goes in the air. I'm going to try a bit of uh, normal video first, then uh, onboard um, image stabilisation.
All right, we've got image stabilisation on now. Not gyro flow, but this is the internal stabilisation. It's going to be pretty stable anyway, it's a very stable sort of day. Okay, I'm recording now and we'll start recording and this should show you the pre-record, hopefully.
So there we have the new Runcam 6, 4K 30 frames a second and uh, 2.7 and 1080 at higher frame rates. It's a pretty good camera. I like the little screen, although I did have to put on close-up glasses to be able to uh, operate it out in the field. Pretty similar image quality to the, the old Runcam 2 4K. Uh, probably needs a bit of tweaking. It's a little bit contrasty and uh, seemed to be a little bit brownish to me maybe could have been the 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 low winter light here in australia if you want the extra no oh, we're just running out of battery if you want the extra features then it's a good upgrade the runcam 2 4k is still very good uh, with possibly better image quality than the, the runcam 6 purchase link in the description thanks for watching and see you in the next video